when we consider our estimates for either mu1 minus mu2 or m1 minus m2, difference of our population means or the difference of our population medians, there are three possible outcomes to consider. We're going to write up each of these interpretations just looking at mu1 minus mu2, but it's interchangeable with m1 and m2. So our first possibility is that mu1 minus mu2 is equal to zero. So if we subtract those two values, we get zero, which implies the two population median means are exactly equal to each other. So again, we could write out that exact same uh, re uh, line of logic with m1 and m2, the population medians, but I'll just leave it to you to imply that those are all interchangeable. So if the difference between those is equal to zero, it means our means or medians are equal. If the difference between our two parameters is greater than zero, that means that the first parameter is larger than the second. And if the difference between our two parameters is something less than zero, that means that the first parameter is smaller. So with each confidence interval, we'll be comparing our interval to zero. So it makes two sample intervals, in some cases, a little bit easier to um, interpret because we're always making that comparison to zero. And whether zero is in our interval, is not in our interval, then that will have some different consequences. So if zero is in our interval, that implies that mu1 equals mu2, or that m1 equals m2, so our two parameters are the same. So if we're looking at a confidence interval, that would be the same thing as our confidence interval having both positive and negative values. So if our confidence interval has positive and negative values, it means that zero is contained somewhere in that interval, and so we would conclude that the two parameters are equal. If zero is less than our confidence interval, then we conclude that the first parameter is larger. And again, looking at our confidence interval, that would be a confidence interval that is strictly positive. So if all values in our in interval are positive, that means that the first parameter is larger than the second based off our data. And if zero is larger than our confidence interval, we conclude the first in that first parameter is the smaller of the two. And that would be the same thing as coming up with a confidence interval that's strictly negative. So if all values in our confidence interval are negative, that's going to imply that mu1 is less than mu2 or m1 is less than m2.